What's going on CrossFit Rick Town? So another great home program workout for you today. Our warm up will be three rounds of 20 arm circles. So we'll do 10 to the front, 10 to the back. Then we'll drop down to our bellies. We have 10 snow angels. We'll follow that with 10 Russian baby makers. And then we'll do a 200 meter run. So again, we're gonna go through that three times for our warm up. So our arm circles, our arms will be out here. Uh, we'll do 10 arm circles to the front, followed by 10 to the back. Then we have snow angels. So this will be done on the ground, but I'm gonna demonstrate on this box. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna just lay down flat on the ground. Hands are gonna be behind your back here. And then what we're gonna do is not touching the ground. We're gonna bring our arms all the way up over our head and then bring them back to that neutral position. After that, we have our Russian baby makers. So we're gonna be in our squat stance here. So I'm gonna push my legs back, hinge, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna push my hips back, hinging at those hips, nice flat back. From here, I'm gonna grab my feet. I'm gonna pull my hips down as low as I possibly can. And then I'm gonna drive forward. And then again, so on and so forth till we get 10 reps. To our Metcon or our warm up, today we have three rounds for time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do 15, 12, nine. Those are gonna be your reps of ground to overhead, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, and lateral burpees. Now, you will rest for three minutes upon completion of each round. Each round will be 15, 12, and nine. So for instance, we'll do 15 ground to overhead, 15 lateral burpees, 12 reps of each, nine reps of each. Once you've completed your ninth rep of your lateral burpee, you're gonna rest for three minutes. Following that three minute rest, you'll start your new round, which will be 15 ground to overhead, 15 lateral burpees, 12, 12, nine, nine, rest, and then you'll go through that one more time. Now, on the ground to overhead, I've left this blank for the athlete's choice. So if you have a barbell, you can do a ground to overhead, which basically means you can do a clean and jerk or you can do a snatch. The weight is up to you. This workout is intended to be a sprint for each round. That three minute rest will allow you to recover to be able to sprint each round. Now, if you're doing a dumbbell or if you only have a dumbbell, then you can do a dumbbell ground to overhead. If you have a plate or you have an odd object, you can do an odd object ground to overhead. So again, you have the option to do either a clean and jerk or a snatch, meaning that either the rep will pass through the shoulder and then go up over your head, or the rep will start from the floor and go straight up over your head without passing through your chest. Now on the lateral burpee, depending on your object, you'll have to jump over something. Uh, the height of your object will depend on how high you have to jump. Now for those athletes that do have a barbell, again, you have the option to do a ground overhead, which means that you can do a uh, barbell clean and jerk or a barbell snatch. So barbell clean and jerk, Barbell snatch, the option's up to you. How you get it done is totally up to you. Both options are um, acceptable. Now, if you have a dumbbell, you'll have to do this single arm. So what you'll do is if you're doing a dumbbell clean and jerk, you'll start off on the ground, pass through the shoulder, up over your head, and then switch sides. Or you have the option to do a dumbbell snatch. Again, if you have an odd object, you'll, you still have um, those options as well. Now, as far as the lateral burpee, if you have a barbell, what you'll do is you'll go down and do your burpee on one side of the object, and then hop over. That'll be one rep. Brick work or accessory program, what we do have for you today is four sets of 15 reps of a split squat. So that's gonna be 15 reps on your right side, 15 reps on your left side. That'll be one rep. You can rest as needed in between each set and then you'll start your next. Now again, depending upon how much equipment you have or what equipment you have, you can do this several different ways. You can do this with a barbell on your back, like a back squat and proceed to do your, um, your split squats. You can do it in the front rack position like a front squat. Um, if you do uh, only have a dumbbell, you can do it in a goblet position. Um, you can also hold it down like a suitcase. Um, you can also do this without any weight, um, and it's still a great exercise to do. 
Now again, there are several different ways to do this exercise. It's a super important exercise to develop stability and hamstring strength uh, in a unilateral way. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate this with a kettlebell, all right? So again, if you have a barbell, you can do a back rack or front rack, uh, but I like to do it with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place one foot, in this case, it's gonna be my right foot, all right, up on an object. Now, if you don't have a bench available, you can also use a chair or a couch. And then what you're gonna do is, with the leg that is up, so my right leg, I'm gonna grab the object with my right hand. I'm gonna go down almost like I'm doing a lunge, get my leg to the ground, and then I'm gonna stand up using my left leg, keeping my core nice and tight, shoulders are squared, standing at full extension at the top of the lift, making sure that my knee is not wobbling back and forth. So again, we'll do four sets of 15 reps on each leg.